Number 12, The Omen. The film was directed by Richard Donner, who is well, more well known for the first two Christopher Reeve Superman movies, much more lighthearted in tone than this film, I'd say. The Omen, released in 1976, is one of the most underrated films of this genre. The plot concerns an American ambassador, played by Gregory Peck, and his wife, played by Lee Remick. She has a stillborn child. Robert Thorne is approached by a priest who suggests that he takes that they take in a child whose mother just died in childbirth. Without telling his wife, he agrees. As the boy grows up, strange and extremely ominous events occur around him and the family. These range from suicides, animal attacks, and mysterious unexplained deaths. Robert and Catherine Thorne begin to wonder if their son, Damien, is really the Antichrist. I think this movie is most effective for building a very strong and foreboding ominous atmosphere. The setting, music, and actors all help this film to exceed the cliches of a, a regular horror film. Gregory Peck is amazing as Robert Thorne. Harvey Stevens, who plays Damien, also does a great job as he acts like an innocent little child and yet when something happens around him, you can tell something is wrong with him. The death scenes in this film are fairly gruesome for 1976, especially the hanging and the head decapitation scene. And you gotta love the swarm of baboons that comes along the car. And that choir is terribly haunting. Overall, I'd say this is not only one of the most underrated horror films of the 70s, but throughout all time. Its scares are genuine, and it's mostly left to the imagination, if not for a few shocking moments.